Hi, my name is Mel Colley from melcolley.com and melcolleypilates.com and I just wanted to do a short video for you today to share a technique that I've been uh, practicing on myself and with clients who have issues with backs and uh, but also when I can see if they've got issues with movement in their back but also shoulder pain um, just to work with Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Mel Colley from melcolleypilates.com and I just wanted to do a little video for you today to share some breathing techniques that um, I share with my clients and that we do at the end of the sessions of my Pilates sessions in relaxation. Um, we're always rushing around these days, very stressed, thinking we have to multitask and do so many things that when we get time on the mat we also seem to be rushing through exercises and doing things. So it's really nice to take a moment to yourself just to focus on what's going on from within, working from within the body, um, sort of work, rather than working out, you're working in, if that makes sense. Putting something back inside, like um, some um, energy, but also like a warm. Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Mel Colley from melcolleypilates.com. And I just wanted to do a short video with you today to focus on your breathing. Um, a lot of us are fairly stressed these days, always worrying about um, where the money's going to come from to pay the mortgage, to pay the bills. Um, we're a bit stressed about what we can't afford and what everybody else has got and what we don't have. Um, and just things like that, I'm worried about our health and well-being. So something as simple as and free, as easy as just focusing on your breathing and where you breathe from can really help your wellness without worrying. Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Mel Colley from melcolleypilates.com and this little video is all about how we can take in more oxygen and into our system to help reduce internal stress but also to help increase oxygen going into the blood and also into the tight muscles to help release tightness that we feel way around the neck and the shoulders, especially these days when we seem to feel, um, we seem to get more stressed, we're rushing around from A to B um, and multitasking, taking on board more things, more things and our stress bucket is just overflowing. So something as simple and as free as something that you do every single day but don't think about is your breathing. So this can be done standing, seated, lying down, um, it doesn't really matter, but taking time out without any distractions, if possible, or just closing everything away from you um, for a couple of minutes. Place a hand just here on the collarbone and a hand just below the navel, just, on the, on the, um, just below the belly button, so on your lower abdominal area, and just breathe. And just notice as you breathe, which hand moves first? And ideally the first, say two thirds of the breath, should come deep into your lower abdominals. You think about where the diaphragm is. It does come up quite high, but it's part of your core, as you like to, we'd like to call it, um, part of the cylinder, so the top part of your, this area, which houses the uh, transverse abdominis, your obliques, and your rectus abdominis, the core muscles, but also the pelvic floor is the base of that cylinder. So your abdominal muscles wrap around you, the diaphragm is on the top, pelvic floor is on the bottom, but they're all connected through fascia, everything's connected. So we can, we can start to think about working more effectively into this area by focusing not just on the posture, but helping the rib cage stay balanced on top of the pelvis by strengthening the diaphragm by focusing on the breathing. So you can always imagine that this hand is really heavy. If you're lying down, you can imagine it's like a heavy book that's on your abdominals. And as you breathe in, you push the book away. We push the hand away if you're standing or seated. And as you breathe out, the hand pushes gently down, or the book lowers and lifts up slightly towards the ribs, not pushing down onto the pelvic floor. Now the last part of the breath, and come into the top part of your hand, top hand, top part of your chest. So this helps to help really release these muscles 
in the chest, and there's so many coming across into your shoulders, up into the neck, um, helping to release and relax the jaw as well. So when we get tight here in the upper part of the body, the upper part of the shoulders, the head can come forward and the head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds. And when the ear is forward of your shoulders and if the shoulders are forward from the hips, that weight has to be transferred somewhere. So it kind of ends up in the middle of your back between the shoulder blades, but also a little bit lower than that in the middle of the ribs as well. So it can affect all the muscles in the upper back, which makes them tight. So trying to breathe lower down can also help bring the forward head back slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me, can bring the forward head back to where we want it to be. So the back of the head is in line with your spine. And if you close your eyes for a moment, and just think about where your pelvic bone is at the front of the pelvis and where the coccyx is at the back. If you're seated or standing, think about them being on the equal level with each other. Equal in the sit bones, right side and left side. And think about the centre of that triangle. And the rib cage is balanced on top of that centre. Almost like it's the roof sitting on top. The diaphragm is like a big, like um, like the big top of a circus, sitting on top of that centre, those four points. And in between your collarbone, you have a little indentation called your manubrium. Now think about that being on top of that centre, in between the sit bones and in between where you're sitting, right in the centre, in the middle of the coccyx and the pelvic bone. And above your manubrium, think about the back of the mouth where your tonsils are. Have that sitting on top of the manubrium and on top of that centre of where you're sitting, that centre of that diamond. And then the crown of the head. Almost as if you're being lengthened, you're pushing the ceiling away from the crown of the head as if someone's picking you up. And that helps to really think about all the bones being plumped up with air on top of each other. That balances on top of the tonsils, the manubrium, middle of the ribs, the centre of that triangle. So as you breathe, that helps to let the diaphragm do its work. Rather than sitting as we usually do, slumped, really creating tension and tightness here in the front of the body. We tend to fold in on ourselves. We, uh, if we're feeling a little bit low in self-esteem or a little bit depressed, we tend to kind of hug into ourselves, making ourselves smaller, hoping nobody sees us, and that will affect all of your front posture, your back, um, and also the breathing as the diaphragm becomes compressed and tight, almost like it's um, just folding in on itself. And then we start to breathe more here into our chest. So think about a big smile here, opening up the shoulders. Diaphragm, like a big canopy or a big umbrella opening up out into the sides, but also into your back as well. It's not just here, it's all the way around. And just breathing into your hands is a very simple way to focus on taking in more oxygen. Okay, so practice that for a couple of minutes every day, a couple of times in the morning and in the evening before you go to bed as well. It really helps to calm you down, helps you to focus on your center, on your breath, and it helps the brain to stop rushing around worrying about things that we haven't done or things that we have done, worrying about the past or the future and not just focusing on what's going on now. Okay, so it should also help you sleep. Take care and have fun practicing. Thanks for watching.